Hey, it's Dean O'Dell with Seven Gables Real Estate and the O'Dell Group. It is time for Test and Talks. Today is August 27th. I am back from vacation, a COVID vacation. It was nice to get out of town. Had to mask up on the plane, but let me highly recommend the San Juan Islands in Washington if you want to get out of this heat. Beautiful up there. So anyway, that's my vacation tip for the day. Now let's talk about the market. Today we're going to be talking about Orange County. Here we go. If you look at the active listing inventory, it's like a repeat record. It's just down, down, down. We are at historical lows. This is the lowest inventory ever recorded in Orange County in the 2000s, okay? So we have 4,320 homes on the market. We are down 2,987 since last year at this time. From May to June of this year, we ended up having 4,317 less homes come to market. That's less homes for the agents to sell and it has really, really been tight inventory. Now let's look at the demand over the last 30 days. If we look at the demand, our demand is actually up 775 homes from last year at this time. So what's going on? We've got, we need inventory, but yet sales just keep going up and up. Well, we know that's because interest rates are stimulating things. We have 2,548 homes that were sold last year versus 3,323 homes this year. So demand is way up and you can see the V-shaped recovery on that graph. You can also see how demand has been climbing where typically during this time frame it goes down. You look at all the other years, we're descending right now. This is like a like we're entering a summer market going into the autumn time of the year. So it's just very strange. Everything's late this year. And let's just talk about how the closings compared in the last 30 days. Sorry to interrupt this program, but you know what? Let's make sure you're subscribed to Tustin Talks. Click on the button below next to our name. And if that doesn't work for any reason, you can just go to TustinTalks.com or our websites, the Odell Group and NorthTustin.com and subscribe there. So let's continue. Closings are up 139 closings since last year. That's really good. Last year was 2,871. This year is 3,010. So again, everything is up, up, up. Our expected marketing time is about the only thing that's down. And the expected marketing time has dropped from 86 days last year down to 39 days. That means last year it was taking more than twice as long, another 46 days to sell your home than this year. All right, so let's glance at our favorite chart. You can see a lot of green on there, a deep green down to a million five, which means that is a hot seller's market in those price ranges. And you can see the expected marketing time for those price ranges this year versus last year. The million five to two million is actually a slight seller's market now. It's unbelievable in that price range. The sellers are still in control. Then if you look at the two to $4 million price range, that's a neutral market where nobody has an advantage. You can still see how the days have dropped from last year. And then over $4 million, that's a deep buyer's market. That's about the only place where the buyers are in control, the only range that we see on this chart. So the last thing I wanna show you is a chart that was just made for this month's housing report and it compares the year over year inventory change this year versus last year and compares that with the year over year demand change since last year. So if you look at all the price ranges, they break them down here in the, in the chart, you can see how all the red arrows are pointing down, showing that inventory is way down over last year. 41% on average overall. And if you compare that with demand, you can see that overall demand is up 30%. There's only one red arrow on demand and it shows only negative 1% and it shows for zero to 500,000. So it's not that demand is down truly in that price point. It's that there's no homes hardly left in that price point, right? So I would say your demand is way up, average 30% overall. But look at some of these price points, like a million to a million five. Unbelievable. You've got 39% on average less homes that are on the market. 
And if you look at the demand and the homes going in the market, going into escrow, it's gone up nearly 75% on average. That is a huge change at that million to million five price point. Over a million five, you can see it's even up 66%. So what's driving all this? Let's talk about it now. Obviously, we have pent up demand from the COVID-19. People weren't out buying. Uh, there's not enough inventory for the demand and we have historically low interest rates below 3%. I mean, that's just insane, right? We're gonna look back someday and in our lifetimes, it's gonna be hard to believe that we were able to get interest rates under 3%. So this is why people are taking advantage of this. Remember, real estate's a long-term play. These mortgages are 30 years long. Start adding up the amount of interest you're going to save on a 30-year mortgage when you are paying interest rates that are this far below the historical norm, okay? So that's what's going on. It's tough to time the market. We wish things were better for the buyers. We wish you guys had more options. But as agents, we're gonna just keep trying to get more and more listings for you guys. So hang in there, buyers. Now sellers, I'll tell you what, I don't know what you're waiting for. I mean, my goodness, it just doesn't get much better than this. And uh, come November, we should have a slowdown, right? I mean, that's you know Christmas season, plus it's an election year. So um, normally it would have already started to slow down by now, but this is just a strange year. But I think uh, you guys don't wanna wait much longer. If you wanna sell this year, give us a call now. Let's get your home prepped and on the market and get it sold for top, top dollar. Okay. All right. So I think that's it for today's Tustin Talks. We'll see you guys in two weeks and we'll be talking more about the Tustin market specifically. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. The Odell Group's been around for nearly 40 years. We are ranked number nine in transactions closed and we can give you the right advice to help you make good decisions. So please click on our subscribe button here and start watching the videos and let us know if there's anything we do to help you.